Good morning all. Today I want to do a reverse engineer and draw the schematic of this little 555 based PWM motor speed controller. Now I can tell it's a motor speed controller. I really am going to have to get in a bit closer, aren't I? Because it does say on it, uh, on one of the connectors, this one DC in, and on the other connector, this one motor. Also need to sort out the focusing. So let's start with the only component on the back of the board. We have a MOSFET here, International Rectifier. It says P039D, but it's not, it's not easy to find using that code on the internet. So let's um, just trace where it goes. Well, motor negative goes into the tab, which is the drain, and DC in negative goes to this pin, which is the source. So we'll draw that first. So here's our MOSFET. Now I'm going to draw its N channel because I'm almost certain that it is N channel. And the drain here goes to motor negative. And the source here, I'll put that in actually, D and S, goes to, have I just, no, that's the gate there, isn't it? Uh, that goes to negative for the DC in. Now you'd expect with the switching taking place in the negative that the two positives would be joined together. They're not quite because they run through this device here which is a polyfuse and this one's interesting. But first I just want to confirm that uh, DC in runs up to that leg of the polyfuse. The other leg is sitting in a little cutout there but if I turn it over and back illuminate it I hopefully can see yes I think from the mass of copper you can see that the bottom leg of the polyfuse runs down to this connector which is motor positive so it does look to me like we have a polyfuse between these two positives and the symbol for that is a box with what appears to be a sort of positive graph coefficient line running through it. I think that's the purpose of it. It says that it's a positive temperature coefficient uh, fuse so that as the temperature increases here, the resistance increases. It's not linear as this line would suggest. It sort of suddenly opens beyond a certain temperature. Now that says on it UF185 which, if you look online, it says it's a 1.85 amp polyfuse. So 1.85 amp. However, this is being sold on eBay as a 5 amp motor speed controller. Hmm. Yes, here's one. 5 amp, 3 volt to 35 volt. 35 volt, which is interesting because on the back it says 3 volt to 15 volt. Um, so it looks like these uh, specs have been quite massively exaggerated. It's only $3.15 and the fuse there is described as self-recovery insurance. Now there's one more power component. It's down in there. It's a diode and it's sitting across the... Uh, no, is it across the... No, it's not across DCN because there are brakes at the top of those tracks. That diode is sitting across that connector motor so we have a diode across motor which is here and it runs in that direction and of course not to forget um, the body diode so I'll draw that in like so um, that is of course inherent inside the MOSFET so we've got a diode across here and a diode across here now, what about this thing? Um, it is a, mm, looks like 220 microfarad, 50 volt electrolytic capacitor. Well, it appears to be positive to motor positive on that track, negative to DC in negative, which is gonna make it a bit of a pig to add to this diagram. So I'm gonna draw it here. So negative goes to DC and negative, but positive comes up here to motor positive 
why have they done that maybe it was just layout so that's um 220 microfarads 50 volts now this potentiometer has a switch and indeed if i connect power to the dc in on this the little red led on the side there is switched by that switch now that little red led has a resistor next to it it's a 103 so i'm just going to work out where the power for that is coming from well i think the led goes to dc in negative this is the dc in negative connector then it runs through the uh, 10k resistor and then a track runs in there presumably to the switch the other side of the switch appears to come in in and around this area which goes to possibly the 555's pin 8 um, which of course is 555 positive so I'm just going to draw that as the LED sitting here and the resistor and that going somewhere we're not quite sure yet possibly through the switch uh, on the potentiometer let's mark that as an LED that's a 103 or 10k it definitely goes to DC in negative now the tracks uh, disappear under connector blocks they disappear under the the very large switch and pot and it makes it quite difficult to trace out the 555 circuit but one thing I've noticed is that we have two diodes here there's one there and there's one there and if you look at 555 PWM online you'll see various circuits for pulse width modulation control using a 555 that have two diodes let's have a quick look yes this sort of thing so we've got um, pin 8 and 4 to positive 1k resistor down to pin 7 and then we've got two diodes pointing in opposite directions either side of a pot and then the wiper of that pot goes to pins 6 and 2 and there's a capacitor from that point down to ground and there are lots of variants of this but they're all virtually identical with these two diodes and it's quite difficult to see and it's even more difficult to photograph to get those tracks back illuminated but it's pretty certain that that's the circuit that's being incorporated here a lot of the tracking unfortunately is under this potentiometer but i'm going to draw it pretty much as seen on those um, google images so I've drawn the 555 here, pin 8 positive to, now there is a regulator on here, it's up in this corner and it appears to go to the uh, DC inside of the polyfuse, so it's this positive down here, I think goes to the 78L12 it is, so the eBay description of this was that you can put between 3 and 35 volts in this says 3 to 15 volts um, but if you did put 35 volts in that would probably be okay for this regulator just about you'll get 12 volts out so the 555 has its voltage limited to 12 volts um, here's pin 7 that's the uh, that's a 1k resistor and there is in fact a 1k resistor on this board it's down in the middle there it's very hard to see I wonder if I can back illuminate it no that's not working it looks like it's a 102 so i'll mark that a 102 so that's a 1k the two diodes the pot with its wiper going to pin six and two and there's a couple of little capacitors sitting down between the legs of the big electrolytic which i think are the timing capacitor between pin two and one and also the decoupling capacitor between pin five the control voltage input of the 555 and ground i need to find where this ground goes but it's going to be one of these negatives let's check that out okay it appears to be here so the negative leg of the electrolytic which all sort of runs down here to the negative side of the mm, motor connector actually probably not because the negative side of that electrolytic the side with the gold stripe actually comes in here which is connected to the negative side of DC in that makes much more sense 
and so I'm going to connect DC in negative to these ground points on the 555. Um, DC in positive is probably routed up to the 78L12 regulator. The negative of that, oh, that probably goes down to this point as well, but I shan't draw that in. So essentially, yes, it's the standard 555 pulse width modulation circuit with these two diodes either side of a pot, the wiper going to pin six and two, and then a MOSFET with diodes and a polyfuse and a big electrolytic sitting there for whatever reason. That appears to be the circuit of this little 555 based pulse width modulation speed controller. Uh, there's one other connection, crucially important of course, which is pin three, the output pin of the 555, and that does appear, although it's not easy to see, but let's see if I can back illuminate this again. There's a track running up from inside the 555 through that little device, which is a zero ohm uh, resistor up and underneath this terminal block. And then you can just about make out a, a via there, which links to the gate of the MOSFET. So I'm pretty certain that pin three comes out of the 555 and goes directly to the gate of the MOSFET. I'll mark that with a G and a G and that's it. Now I'm pretty sure I had this on my shed fan, which is uh, supposed to be six amps. And I'm pretty sure I remember turning it up full. It was on this smaller lead acid battery um, but I have now placed an order for a larger 10 amp uh, motor speed controller. So maybe, maybe that'll have a polyfuse around the sort of three or four amp range. Who knows? Um, but yes, that's the uh, PWM motor speed controller. Reverse engineered. Cheerio.